Okay, I'm up here on the roof and I might as well show you the problem we've been having. So you ever see those campers driving on the highway and the whole front end is aired up with air and you can see the roof like it's trying to come off? Well, we've been one of those people for a while. And as you can see, I've used a turnabond tape across the front cap to try to hold it in place. But from the time it happens to the time we got home to get it repaired, it is now stretched and airing up all the way to the front AC unit. And it's actually starting to get a hole right there. That's what the die core is for. But today, we're going to fix all of this. We're going to rip all this roof off and we're going to install RV roof armor. So let's talk a little bit about the problem we're having on our roof. So we were driving through Arizona and we stopped at a rest area and the roof didn't quite look right from the ground. So I climbed up there and it was like the roof was coming separated at the front cab and it was allowing air to air up the roof, separating it from the wood between the front cab and the front AC unit. Well, we were in the rest area, so all I could do was take a turnabond tape and pull it back tight and tape it down to the front cab. At this point, we've been living in our camper for almost six months and we've traveled almost 5,000 miles and we hadn't had a problem at all out of this roof. But now that we have the problem, it's not going to go away without major repair. We proceed to travel and I just keep applying a turnabond tape and we monitor every move I get up there and make sure it's not getting worse. And for the most part, it didn't get too much worse. We ended up making it all the way back home to Texas after our nine month trip out west. But it was starting to get to the point where if you don't fix it soon, it's gonna become a big problem. It never leaked, it never came separated fully from the front cap, but it was on its way to being completely destroyed. As soon as we started researching this, we started running into all kinds of people at campgrounds that were having similar roof problems. Some from the same manufacturer as ours and some from other ones that are also very expensive campers. Now, some of these are really bad. One guy we talked to, he bought a brand new camper and the roof came off the camper on his way home from the dealership. Well, the manufacturer took the camper back, put a new roof on, and within three months, that roof also came off. He ended up having the manufacturer get the camper back from him and he changed brands. So we started researching and calling around and seeing what our options were. And there are a few, but since we're the second owner of this camper, the manufacturer and the dealer are not gonna offer us anything in terms of warranty or repair work, but we can become a customer with an insurance claim, and it's gonna be $12,000 to put a new roof on this camper. But it's not a better roof, it's the exact same roof. So if it's not applied correctly or installed correctly, it potentially can come off again. Now we ran into a whole lot of people who had the same problem as us, but after using the manufacturer or the dealer to make the repair, they ended up making the repair on their own using a third party company. So after hearing their stories and how happy they were with their new roofs that are not the original stock vinyl or TPO roofs, we started calling around and there's two companies that actually do this kind of work. They have their own proprietary roof and they offer a lifetime warranty and they stand behind the product no matter who owns the camper. So if I sell the camper, the next owner also gets a lifetime warranty. So we went with RV Armor. The RV Armor costs half as much as a brand new vinyl or TPO roof, and it's better. Our technician, Nate, from RV Roof Armor showed up, and I'm gonna show him the problem we have. All right, Nate, what do you think about our problem? Well, it's obvious that your factory installed membrane here has delaminated here in the front. My guess, uh, judging by just how it looks right now, is that as you were traveling down the road one day, this membrane up here in the front was not adhered it either wasn't adhered properly or the termination bar that transitions from vinyl to fiberglass was not secured well enough and that allowed air to get up underneath there and the rest is to here. When we discovered it, it was a huge air bubble. And actually it was funny, we were talking about people that we saw on the highway having it and we're like, I wonder how they don't know. Well, when we found it, we were like, we're one of those people too. All right, so the reason we chose you is because we live in our camper full time and you would come anywhere we are. That's true. We'll come to you wherever you are, whether you're parked in the campground, at a family's house, or, or wherever. It doesn't matter where the camper's parked. We'll, we'll come out, we'll, we bring all of our own materials, and the work can be done wherever you are. After you put your roof on and we're on the road, what if something happens to our roof while we're out camping or on the road? What do you do? If you have any concerns with the roof after it's been installed by an RV Armor technician, just reach out to RV Armor's office and they'll work with you on the phone, either by sending you materials or a technician to help walk you through the repair process. How good is this roof? Oh, it's the best roof. Now, what if a tree branch hits it? Uh, I mean, of course, it's not going to stop a full 
full grown pine. Yeah. But you know, your typical driving through low hanging branches and campgrounds and things like that, this this coating, this roof system is going to, to hold up to anything like that. So I don't know if you've ever been to Florida, but down there they like to have their trees low overhanging the, the campgrounds. And we've had problems down there with our stock roof where we've caught branches and had to come up here and put some dicor down on a little tear we have. Would that happen with this? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Now the warranty on this thing, how long does it last? Lifetime, life of the coach. Even if I sell it to somebody else? Absolutely, it's 100% transferable. That's awesome. All right, let's get started. Oh, look at that. That's a sweet sunroof. So we just got all three AC units pulled off the roof. And right now, Nate's up there working on removing the die core, the Eternal Bond tape, and getting the vinyl roof ready to be pulled off. Right now also seems like a pretty good time to knock out cleaning my AC units. Since they're not attached to the roof, we're gonna run up to Lowe's and get some coil cleaner and take care of that before we put them back on. Lowe's came through again. We got some coil cleaner, some foil tape, and some brushes. Now let's go back and take care of cleaning up those AC units. Well, it looks like Nate has got all my Eternabon off. All right, Nate, what have you done to my roof? started doing here is uh, pulling back the factory installed vinyl membrane. We're exposing all the OSB underneath making sure that it's good and dry and healthy. And I'm working on removing all these old sealants and this die core or excuse me, turn on tape that you so thoroughly put down. Well, I wanted to make sure it would hold until I go back to Texas. Well, that it did. I've already looked at it down there. You just threw the Eterna bond tape away on the floor. That's what it's good for. All right. So what was in this guy? This. What's this? housed your TV antenna. Oh, that guy over there? And uh, actually it's quite simple, believe it or not. Uh, this is what we're working with. That's it? That's it. <laughs> just one simple little control board? Just that tiny little board. And this, this giant housing. Dome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one more. You just keep making sunroofs in my house, don't you? It's the rage these days, skylights. There's skylights everywhere now. Natural light is the best light. Natural light's the best light. This is the master bathroom max air fan. We're gonna clean it up so it's ready to go back on when it's time. We're gonna get rid of this vinyl roof and give it a good washing. I just finished cleaning all three Max Air fans. Now they're ready to go when it's time to reinstall them. So here is a view of our new seven skylight model. Here's the bedroom skylight. And let's step into the bathroom. We got that one and we got that one. Now let's come over here into the living room. We now have two skylights in the living room. And let's head into the back room. We now have a skylight for the kids and their own skylight in their bathroom. We now had the seven skylight momentum. There is now more holes in my camper than when, when you got here. <laughs> I tend to have that effect on roofs. It happens, right? It does. Oh no, now I can't sell it on eBay. No, not yet. There we go. It wasn't too bad. See how this section's already got a lot more glue on it than this last run did. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, we have our coil cleaner. Now we're gonna head up on the roof and clean out our AC units while they're off. All right, you can see they're not too bad, but they are dirty. Okay, so I just got done cleaning all three AC units. They actually weren't that bad for living on the road for one year now. I will say, it was a lot easier and a lot less mess to clean them when they're not hooked to the roof. All right, there you go. There's our new roof. Good to go. Let's hit the road. All right, Nate, so first day is over with. What are we getting done today? We pulled up the majority of the vinyl membrane that was installed from the factory just to ensure that the wood underneath it was in good shape, and it is. Uh, we've got the first run of our replacement membrane down, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna lay down the rest of it and start putting down rubber product. All right, Nate, it's next morning. What's our plans for the day? Well, today we're gonna finish stripping down the roof. We're gonna get all the wood totally exposed, and then we're gonna get it totally recovered with RV Armor's direct deck system. How far do you think we'll make it today? I think we'll get it totally covered and, and get at least the first coat or the base coat of the liquid rubber down. Okay, while Nate works up on the roof, I'm gonna start cleaning up my Max Air Vent covers. Got my Max Air vent covers cleaned up and ready to go back on. So while I was at it, I have these screen models and they're always falling out when we travel. So I went ahead and add zip ties to make sure they stay in and I don't have to go up there and fix them every time we move. All right, Nate, so what's going on up here? Well, as you can see, we've got our replacement membrane down and in place. And uh, now we're going to start putting the intrusions back into the roof, the vents and skylights and things of that nature. All right, so we're gonna do the Max Air fans and the skylight. That's right. All right, this is a uh, kitchen. Uh, it's for the rear bathroom. Oh, rear bathroom. We have lost four of our seven sunroofs. Now we have a skylight back in. The Max Air is back in. We have our Max Air back in in our kitchen. And we've installed the Max Air into the rear bathroom. So four sunroofs gone, three more to go. We have our Max Air vents installed and our skylight. What's next? Next, we're gonna pre uh, prepare the ACs to go back down and then we'll continue uh, sealing it up. Okay, we have all three AC units installed. Here's the back room. There's the kitchen. And here is the master bedroom AC. All right, we officially have no more sunroofs in this camper. All right, Nate, so it's the end of day two. What we get done today? Well, we did in fact get the new replacement membrane down. It's totally sealed into the roof now. And we've got the second layer of our liquid rubber applied. So what's our plan for tomorrow? So tomorrow we're going to apply all the finishing touches, smooth everything out, and apply our flashing around all of the roof intrusions. All right, Nate, so it's the last day, maybe. What's our plans for today? Well, today we're gonna get the radius fabric tucked underneath your gutter bars on both sides. I'm gonna work on cleaning up all the rest of that Dicor goo on the front cap. Okay. And we're gonna seal all the front cap in and the rear cap and all of their intrusions. All right, so you think we'll get finished today? I think so. All right, Nate, so what's going on up here? Well, you can see here we have the replacement fabric totally secured to the roof and tucked into all the intrusions and under all the transitional areas. Next, we're gonna work on reinforcing all the seams between all the intrusions, the vents and tannis and things of that nature. 
to make it entirely waterproof. And then after that, I assume you're gonna start putting the final coat on? That's right, we'll put the top coat and finishing touches on before we put the vents and air conditioning shrouds back on. All right, Nate, so we're getting close to the end of day three. What's going on now? Well, right now we've got the roof completely coated and sealed in. Now I'm just working on tying in all of the corners and getting those water top. All right, Nate, so we're done with the roof finally. Finally done. It looks pretty awesome. I think so too, thank you. So tell me about it. How do I take care of the roof moving forward? Well, as it sits right now, since we're just wrapping it up, I'd like for you to let it sit for about two days to fully cure before you move it. Uh, if you wish to wash it down the road, you can use any typical regular RV detergent or car detergent with a soft bristle brush and regular hose water pressure, no high water pressure. Okay, now how do I go about inspecting it to make sure it's not having any damage or any issues I need to address? Well, once this coating is fully cured, it's fully walkable. You can walk it as much as you want and inspect it visually however you like. All right, so what do I look for? Uh, you want to look for scrapes and cuts and tears from, or anything from road debris, things like that. Okay, and so what happens if there is a problem? How do I take care of it? If you have any kind of issue with the coating, just give RV Armor's office a call and they'll walk you through the process. Awesome. So Nate, I want to thank you for letting me film all this and this whole process. Absolutely, it's my pleasure.